There's a big reason why I don't make plans and not like I don't make plans as in I don't go do anything. I don't make plans like every, like if I go on a trip, everything is super structured. And I'll give you an example. I booked a flight to Vegas. I was supposed to get in Vegas at 8 a.m. Vegas time, have my car by 9 a.m. and drive all the way up through Utah to Moab. A week or so before my trip, my flight got changed. So now I won't be landing in Vegas until 2 p.m. And this is why I never book my car or any hotel. The only thing I did have is a campsite on the second night. I had to restructure new plan. Land in Vegas at 2 p.m. Get my car by 3 p.m. I'll go to Zion National Park for sunset. Get some photos out of it stay the night somewhere close and then drive out near Moab to my campsite the following morning. But here's what actually happened. I land in Vegas at two, get my car by three, sit in traffic. <laughs> and then by the time I got to the Utah border, it was already pitch dark. So getting to Zion by sunset was no, no go. Not even a chance, not even close. So I found a cheap hotel, got up super early, hit Bryce Canyon National Park for sunrise that morning. And I've been to Bryce Canyon before. If you've never been, go. I've hiked there. It's, you have to go, it's incredible. But watching the sunrise there and getting some photos that I'm actually pretty happy with, it was awesome. The only problem is it was freezing. It was like 20 degrees there. It is unbelievably cold and I was not expecting it to be in the 20s by any means. I was not prepared <laughs> for this. At least the sunrise was cool. Left Bryce Canyon and that's where this video begins. So I hope you guys enjoy it. feel the temperature dropping it's pretty chilly up here it's 67 degrees I'm just glad that it's not like extremely windy so campsite and then we're gonna go to the uh, dead horse lookout point for sunset which will be awesome campsite should be this way Campsite 38. We have to park and walk to it, it looks like. Oh, well. I believe we have to park and walk to it as well. Spot 38. Everybody's pretty close together. Got a neighbor there. A neighbor there. Man. This is really blocking out the sun. This is awesome. Still got a little while before 
finish some stuff, so I gotta eat something. So put together a little story here. Holy crap. That is a big bunny. Now, the reason I booked the site here is because this is a registered dark sky area. So I plan on parking right over there somewhere. A tripod <clears throat> and get some Milky Way shots. I don't know if the hammock is allowed, but. If all else fails, I'll sleep in the car. I'm excited, but it's already getting chilly. And it's only 65, 66 degrees. <clears throat> I have my pants and all that stuff, but I'm just... It's already getting kind of chilly. I'm supposed to be down in the 40s tonight, so and if this is what 60 feels like, it's kind of nippy. Oh man. This is unreal. Seriously, unreal. I think we got here too late. The sun's already dropping down. It's already, so it's not up high enough to hit all this. I'm gonna have to shoot this way. This don't even look real. I just don't know how to explain it. I can't explain it. I'm pretty sure this is the pyramid right there. Looks like a pyramid. Losing light fast. Especially on this side right here. Right. I don't know. Sun's creeping down. Should sit here in about 10 minutes. Or take. I got a few shots I'm happy with. Nothing crazy. Oh, that's cool. There is a the sun's peeking through this tree over here, and it's silhouetted. And that looks pretty cool. Try to get another one here. Hmm. I'm digging that shot. Yeah, I'm digging that shot. Silhouettes are always cool. Oh man. I don't want to move because I'm the only one over here. <clears throat> Everybody's on the other side. The view up here is seriously insane.
probably pretty hard for you to see right now, but we are shooting the Milky Way. I'm trying to be kind of quiet because there's a bunch of campers around me. But, I'm about to turn my headlamp off. You guys probably can't see me at all. So, we are running at 25. We have the shutter at 25. ISO 1600. It's so quiet here. Like, so quiet. Can you guys see my blue light? Can you see it? <laughs> the fire just needs to die down a little bit because it's giving us a red tint. So I left I left the uh, overlook and came straight here and tried to set up. Um, I didn't get to film anything. and just trying to get set up before it got dark. But we're here now. And it's dark. But right now we're shooting, shooting the Milky Way. It's over on this side here and it's kind of going over into their camp spot so that kind of sucks move the camera over right here and try this I just don't want it to look like it's pointing at their campsite over there Let's see what this looks like there we go. That doesn't look terrible. I bet we can play around with that some more too. I always like to start at ISO 3200 and kind of work my way down and see where we're at. Usually you don't have to go that high. We also have this annoying light from the bathrooms over there. Yeah, that looks so cool. Let's try to get it up a little higher. Right there. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Can you see my red light? Can you see it? <laughs> it's been a long day, so. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna lay down and relax, because I am so tired. Yeah. I think it's bedtime. so cold and I slept the worst I think it's the worst night of sleep I've ever had I kept getting chills but then I was warm but then I get chills and then I was warm to get packed up and head back to the point for sunrise. You know, for as bad as I slept, I don't feel too bad. I seriously think I might have gotten two hours, maybe.
you can't describe this feeling you get when you're in a view like this. It's a, it's a definite, like, feeling. Almost emotional. But it's like, it's just incredible. So everybody comes for this shot right here, the river right there. But I've been very gravitated towards this scene right here. I can't stop shooting it. I mean, the layers and the way they, these come out and everything, the lines. That scene over here just keeps pulling me towards it. So, not a bad scene here either on the river, but... That right there is what's calling to me. so quiet holy crap like i feel like i have to keep whispering doesn't look like the sun is gonna hit the whole river anytime soon maybe midday i want to pack up and head out glorious morning glorious morning I feel like we got a crowd of people coming in I've been the only one here for a while now. I also forgot to mention that today's my birthday. And what a great way to start off my birthday. I am old now. I'm 38 years old. I think I want to find a nice hotel to relax so I can actually get some good sleep. I've slept only probably six hours in the past couple days. All right, so I need to get back to the campsite, back to the campsite, and then eat something because I have not been eating right. And I have to be out of here in three hours, so I need to pack up. But what's crazy is I don't have a plan the rest of the day at all. Nothing. Not even close. So I'm going to try to figure out what to do. I thought about going to Canyonlands today. Maybe we'll do that. But I also need to find where I'm going to stay tonight too. Since it's my birthday, I think I might splurge for a nice hotel and kind of re regroup, charge batteries and all that stuff. Um, and then so I can like get an actual good night's sleep. Past few days have been kind of rough.
or I could go to Moab. Moab's really expensive though. And then Canyonlands tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. It's my birthday. I get to do what I want today. <laughs> So I use the um, the firewood. The firewood comes in this thing right here. And I just ripped a hole in the top of it. And strung it right here onto my hammock strap. And then put my shoes in it. Um, just in case any scorpions were trying to get warm last night. They're not going to crawl in your shoe. And that's a big thing. That scorpions will crawl in your shoes. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm gonna reuse my mountain house meal from yesterday as a package and then fill one of these rice dinners up and put it in here and just cook it regular like I would a regular mountain house. Might have to leave it in there a little longer though. And I'll probably Tastes kind of fettuccine. -y. Close this up, oh, man. That might be too much water. Oh, well. I guess we're having rice soup. I am digging these trees. They look so cool. They're so hard to photograph. They're just kind of there. It's a pretty cool view right here. Especially since someone's at that camp spot. That's so cool. Been wearing the same clothes for what 24 hours now more than 24 hours but i haven't showered well, i'm gonna put on new clothes and have those stink right away too you know it's good to know that this idea works i've unpacked multiple mountain house meals and carried those and then put it back in this but not one of the um rice sides the good thing about those is they're only a dollar, so save some money doing that. Could have sat a little longer and I could have used a little less water, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Now let's talk about last night. <clears throat> well, yesterday evening. This is why I didn't film much on the way back to the campsite. When I started the fire, I was just in such disbelief. I wasn't going to put this on video, but I don't know who they are, where they came from. Dead Horse State Park. Don't come after me because I know nothing. I just seen what I seen, okay? So I was walking back to the point area, 
and I seen these three people walking pretty quick. And they had GoPros on their head, and I was like, oh, they just missed the sunset. They're trying to get here to see what they can. And they got they came on their motorcycles. All the motorcycle people wear GoPros on their head. <clears throat> on their helmets. Didn't think anything of it. Started walking towards the corner again. They jump the railing. They jump over the railing. They stand there. They look over. And I realized they had these little backpacks on. And I was like, no way. So I hit record. And I just stood there in disbelief and watched all three of them jump off the fucking cliff. As far as I know, it was really hard to see, but they all, all three landed safely. They got into a car and took off down at the bottom. Unreal. Never seen anything like that. I'm pretty sure it's highly illegal, so don't come after me. <laughs> but it did, it did definitely seems odd now how fast they were walking. To get to the, the area they wanted to, jumped and then took off. There was no hesitation either. It's not like they were scared, like, oh, oh no. They were like, don't. And the parachutes opening were so loud. You can hear them. But yeah, all I did was film it. Don't come after me. I don't know these people. And again, I wasn't going to put it on video. I wasn't going to make it part of the video, but it was such a big moment of like a what that I feel like I had to. All right, time to get out of here. <clears throat> well, goodbye, campsite 38 been a blast ready to hit the road where we're going <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> nobody knows after I left the campsite I decided to head back to the visitor center there's a little walking path that goes around the area and there's some more overlooks and I decided to check that out before I left and while walking around there, I decided I'm just going to head straight to Moab, find a hotel, and just crash into bed. Decided to uh, check myself into a little birthday hotel here. It wasn't the cheapest, but it also wasn't anywhere near the most expensive. Even though this was like the third cheapest hotel, still pretty fancy for me. But yeah, and they allowed me to check in a little early. So I got everything laid out. Took me a hot, fabulous shower. Got clean clothes on, feel great, feel clean. I went ahead and walked around Moab today with my film camera and I put in um, Fujifilm 400 color film and went around and did some shots. Um, I've never used that film before.
for the most part, I was pretty happy with the Fuji color film. Uh, I only had to tweak a few photos and edit the colors just a tad bit. Nothing crazy or anything like that. You can probably tell which photos I had to had to add a little color to. But overall, I'm really pleased with the film, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please drop a comment on what your favorite photo is on this video. Please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.